And I don't think I've ever talked about this, but I like ugly things. The ones I showed you right now are beautiful and those are the ones I use when I'm feeling dolled up. But on an everyday basis, I like looking ugly. I like looking ugly. And this song, I don't know if you've ever heard anybody say this. And if anybody out there feels the same way I do, please let me know. Hello, my <laughs> lovely YouTube family. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you five purses that I purchased pre-owned. And I got these for amazing prices. Um, and that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you. I know that this is out of the norm video for a nail art channel, but I said I was gonna share more videos with you guys and I'm gonna share more videos with you guys. And this is just an idea I had um, of sharing with you guys these purses that I purchased at such an amazing price. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. Okay, so the first purse I'm gonna share with you guys is this one. This, this is the Michael Kors and it's called Hamilton. It's the Hamilton style. And when I saw this purse, it was so beat up. And I'll show it to you guys a little bit closer right now. This purse was so beat up. They have these in different colors. So I would recommend that if you're gonna get one of these purses, do not get the beige color on the sides. Uh, they have it all in a solid color. They have it in different colors, actually. They have blue, they have gray, they, they have it in different colors. But this is the one I found in a yard sale and it's cleaned. I had to do so much to this purse. Okay, so there you can see it. Um, and this beige part was so dirty when I got it. I had to clean it out. This part you see of the purse right here, this is a fabric material. So this fabric material was, it had a bunch of little um, like balls. The material had turned into little ball material and here it has it in the back as well. And I had to spend hours and hours cutting off the little balls that came out in the, the, in the fabric. So that's what I did to this purse. Um, it took a lot of cleaning and this one I found it at a yard sale and the inside part like so much fits in there and that's why I love it. I love that it's so, it's so, um, it's a comfortable purse to wear. It's really sturdy. Even before you add the things to the inside, it's already a heavy purse. So once you add your things, it becomes even heavier. But it's just a beautiful purse. It's actually one of my favorites right now. Then it has this so you could um, hang it on your, I'll show you right now. And so you could hang it on your shoulder and it's just a beautiful detailed purse. One thing that when I was cleaning it, when I bought it, I didn't realize it. But when I was cleaning it, I realized that in here, okay, this is a lock right here. Okay, it's literally a lock. And when I saw it, I said, how weird, you know, uh, a lock, what purpose? Okay, whatever. When I was cleaning it, I found out that in here, in this little pocket, there's actually a key. So you press that in. Can you see the little key there? So the key comes out and there's the little key. So this little key opens the lock. So I thought that was so cute. And I got this purse even before I knew about this little key. So that just made me fall in love with this purse even more. So like I said, this took a lot of cleaning, a lot of cutting of the fabric. And look how beautiful this purse is. It's just amazing. It's called the Michael Kors Hamilton style. And here comes the punchline, the price I paid for it. Okay, hold on to your horses. I paid a whopping $5 for this purse in a yard sale. So again, like I said, it was dirty. I, I, a lot of elbow grease went into cleaning this purse, but it was so worth it. It's so worth it because now I have this amazing, beautiful purse and I only paid $5. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's ridiculous, but yard selling really pays off um, because I think even going to yard sales is cheaper than going to a thrift store. You find things at a much more affordable price. And if you have the money to buy these things new, that's awesome. But all of us don't have the money to buy these things brand new. So when you find them in yard sales or thrift stores, it's like a, it's just a joy to find them. Yeah, you're gonna have to maybe clean them and nip and tuck here and there, but then you'll be left with an amazing, um, purse or an amazing item not just a purse but this is it this is my michael kors hamilton purse that i got for a whopping five dollars
Okay, so the next purse I'll be sharing with you, I suppose it'll be a simpler one. And for this one, this is a Dunium Burke, and I really love this Dunium Burke. I have this one empty right now. I haven't used it in a while, but there you can see the opening. Is that dirty inside? Oh, it's like a little red tag. Um, it's a beautiful purse. It's a beautiful Dunium Burke purse, and it's just like a big purse. Let me show you there a little bit closer. And then I love the little gold accents it has here on the sides. And then it has the logo all around. And then again here, the gold accent. And then all around like that. So it's just a beautiful purse. And if you, the inside it has, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just a fabric material. It's easy to clean. So this one, <clears throat> Oh, and then it has the little hook that goes inside and I hope I'm not blurring out because I'm going in and out zooming with you guys but it's just a it's a beautiful Dunian Burke purse this one I got it from an antique shop I got it from an antique shop and I didn't pay a lot for it I paid twenty dollars for this Dunian Burke purse so it sometimes pays also to go to antique shops when it comes to antique shops antique shops are a little bit pricier. Still, for a Dunian Burke purse, $20 is not a high price, but I think it was like $35 and they had it on sale, so I got it for $20. And this is just a beautiful purse. And then all around, you can see there the leather um, line that goes all around. Oh my goodness, what fell? Something fell out of there. I thought it was empty. But it is a beautiful, comfortable purse. It's just a sturdy, trusty purse. So, um, yeah, it's just a beautiful purse. $20 at an antique shop. So this next purse I'm going to show you is one that I bought from eBay. And I paid, I believe it was like $18 for this purse. And I'm going to tell you what to look for if you're going to get these on eBay or what title to look for under them. So this was from when I was collecting antiques about four years ago. I had so many antiques. I, I, I've told you guys before, I like collecting and then I sell off my collections. So I love antiques. Currently, I don't have a lot of antiques, but during that time, I did have a lot of antiques. And this was one of the things that I purchased during that time. And I think it's one of the things that I kept because I love this purse. And because I also thought, you know, I could wear this purse still. And I do. So I'm going to show you. If you're interested in buying these type of Victorian style purses, go on eBay and look under Victorian Tapestry Purse. Sometimes some people don't know the style of the purse they're listing. So just you can also just look under tapestry purse, vintage tapestry purse. That's how I found this one. So let me show you a little closer. Look how beautiful that image is. It's of an older female and then a younger one. And you could see all the detail in the background. Oh my goodness, look at that beautiful chest there and the chair the detail it, it, i love this purse and i had a collection of over 20 tapestry purses but again i sold them all off but this is one that i kept and you could see up here look at all this amazing detail oh my goodness it's so beautiful and it has the same yeah. image on the back side and let me move my chair out of the way um, it has the same image on the back side except it has a more plain silver top area and then the handle is just a regular tapestry handle and the opening for this so you just open the latch like that and oh my goodness i have it really heavy i have it full of fans right now oh my goodness i have my collection of, of fans in here um but yeah and then you just close it up and like i said i think i paid about 18 dollars for this one you can go on ebay and just look under vintage tapestry purse and a lot of different styles will pop even if you don't want a victorian style one but i just think the victorian style goes really well with um tapestry purses so it has the four little feet in the bottom 
and then all around it's just an amazing purse i love this vintage purse and i think it's just perfect uh for fall and you can see there it's a good size so yeah this is another one of the purses that i've gotten pre-owned and that i just i love Alrighty, the next purse I'm going to be sharing with you guys is one that I actually got for my daughter. It's a Juicy Couture one. I love Juicy Couture. Uh, before I began collecting Pandora, I was collecting Juicy Couture. And I have some jewelry pieces that are just amazing. The, one of the jewelry pieces that I own that is the most extravagant charm bracelet is a Juicy Couture. It's just an amazing bracelet. It's just, oh my goodness. I'll make a separate video just for that particular bracelet because it's amazing. But once I started collecting Pandora, I sort of put Juicy Couture bracelets and jewelry on the back burner, but I love Juicy Couture. So I came across this purse and I got this one from a thrift store for about $8. And I actually bought this one because I wanted it for my daughter. And I'll show you all the cute little details this purse has. I bought it because I wanted it for my daughter, but she's so picky. She's such a picky person. She will wait years and do without until she finds exactly what she wants. She's very particular about the things that she likes. Even when it comes to Pandora, um, I was I, I wanted to make a bracelet for her and I bought charms for her and she tells me mom Pandora is your thing it's not my thing so she doesn't there's charms where I want to get the mother daughter one and she doesn't want Pandora she doesn't want anything to do with Pandora she always she'll hear me and but she just that's how she is with everything I remember when she was really small and this is a little bit out of the topic but when she was small she wanted a cat so bad and that's before we got pancesa if you've seen my white fluffy cat which is her white fluffy cat um and she wanted a cat so bad and we were going to different uh shelters we would take her we took her to several places trying to find a cat and even though she wanted a cat so bad she, and she thought they were so cute she waited out to find the exact cat she wanted so she we would go to a place and she would see all the cute kittens and she loved them, but she would come home without a cat. She has self-control that is amazing. But like I said, she's got that kind of personality where she will do without as long as it takes until she finds what she wants. Finally, she found the cat she loved, which is the green blue eyed cat. Um, and she also tells me we already have, oh my goodness, you guys already know the big animal family I have. and. Now she wants to adopt a handicapped animal. And I think that's great. It's just that we can't anymore. We have too many dogs, too many cats. And um, we've even rescued turtles. And it's just too much for me because she does help. But I, most of the weight or responsibility goes on my shoulders and my husband's shoulders. So uh, another animal would just be too much. But that's, I went out of topic. But when it comes to this purse, that's what happened. I purchased it for her, and when she was younger, she liked Juicy Couture. It was around the time that I was collecting the Juicy Couture uh, jewelry, but I guess she was a little older when I found this purse, and she's like, Mom, you can keep it. Um, it's not my style, so I've ended up using this purse, which I love, but I just think it would have been uh, so cute and a lot more age-appropriate for her because it's just, you're, you're gonna see why. Okay, so let me zoom in to show you. Okay, when it comes to this purse, of course, the closure is a magnet. And I've got this one filled with paper. I'll probably have to remove it to show you the inside. And it just closes really nicely, really nice and tight. So the front has the juicy logo with all this embroidery. Is it embroidery? No, it's like. Uh, I don't know if it's an iron. I don't know what it is, but it's not embroidery. This is embroidery and the crown also. But this little accent here is not. Now, um, these are the accents that I love from Juicy Couture. Look at how cute this metal is. It says, for nice girls who like stuff. And I thought that was so cute. And then it's really heavy. Again, this is another purse that 
you're gonna add stuff to it and it's already heavy even before you add the stuff it's plain from the back and then from the front it has the juicy couture logo with for nice girls who like nice stuff now the back side of the purse has the J and then the sides have two little pockets again with the logo fabric and the magnet and it has the little pockets on both sides the bottom just has the brown fabric or material it's like a plasticky uh, brown material I don't know if you could hear grubby grubby wants to come in I'll see if I can show her to you guys some of you have been asking me about grubby okay so let me take out this stuff I have in here I keep that in there so that it'll keep its shape okay so for the inside it has this little thing here I'm not okay I don't think I think I'm there we go okay so it has this little I'm not sure if something went attached to this or you attach your keys to this or something I really don't know um, right here is where you put your phone look how cute that is it says hello so then you put your phone there and I thought that was such a cute little extra then on the opposite side it has another little pocket and on this little pocket you take out a little mirror oh my goodness that is so cute um, and then in the back it just has the J sign right there and then the little strap says something that I thought was so cute it says oh my goodness I'm not sure if you could see it there it says I am the fairest so I thought that was so cute and I really thought my daughter would fall in love with it but that picky little child didn't really care for it and then the fabric logo all the way inside so I just love this purse did I tell you how much I paid for this one I got this one from a thrift store and I believe I pay like eight dollars for this one so it was like a really amazing good deal but it's just a perfect purse and I do use it when I'm going out like when, when I don't need to carry too many things I do use it I think it's so cute so and then the materials a nice velvety material and it's just pretty I love it so much So the next purse I'm going to show you guys is my ugly reliable purse and I don't think I've ever talked about this but I like ugly things the ones I showed you right now are beautiful and those are the ones I use when I'm feeling dolled up but on an everyday basis I like looking ugly I like looking ugly and this some, I don't know if you've ever heard anybody say this and if anybody out there feels the same way I do please let me know because I feel comfortable when I look ugly and I, I don't know if that makes any sense or not but I like ugly things and I've always liked earthy um, organic things I for my day-to-day -day, that's what I want to feel like and that's what I want to look like when you look when you blend in with everybody ugh, that doesn't sound right either when you look ugly you get no attention from no one and you could just go about doing your business and that sounds weird doesn't it that sounds like I need to talk to a therapist about that but I've, I've always felt that way ever since I was little I've always felt that way and again there are those days when I want to get dolled up and feel pretty but on for on the norm I don't want to look pretty I just want to be um, casual and there's days when I get to do that and I love it I absolutely love it so for that for my day-to-day -day, I'm going to show you the purse I use and I should have picked it up I have it down here so this is my trusty leather purse this is a Boca Raton purse and it's got the long leather strap so it's a crossbody purse and this is the purse that I carry around with me everywhere um, for running around in the street and just doing my regular boring necessity things um, and this is what I wear it's an it's a Boca Raton leather purse and you know what it's just an ugly reliable big leather purse it has the leather opening like that I don't know if that's gonna show and then in here this is where I have everything packed inside now this big purse 
I will carry it around with me in the car. And it's just a regular, it's a, uh, um, if you want to look for it, if you want a trusty leather purse that'll last and go, I mean, it'll go through anything with you. This is from a Boca Raton uh, brand and it's a leather Boca Raton purse. So this purse, I got it from a thrift store for about $6. And the moment I saw it, I told my daughter, that's such an ugly purse. I love it. I must have it. So yeah, I got that one for about, I think it was for about $6 and I've had it for over a year already and it's just a strong, sturdy purse. And this purse again is the one I'll carry in the car with me. Let me go a little closer. This is the purse that I carry around in the car with me. I need something, I just take it out <clears throat> and it's so sturdy. I mean, and it's just a regular leather purse, but it's so darn sturdy i absolutely love it and it just stands the test of time now this is that purse that i carry around with me in the car but if i have to get down to a store i don't lug this one around with me what i do is inside this purse i carry the one that's going to come with me where i have my credit cards my hand lotion and all that stuff. I carry this one. What a difference in color, right? I mean, I have this brown one and I pulled this out, but this is the one that I just cross my body and I'm around shopping or doing what, anything that I need to do. This one makes me happy because it's so bright and colorful. This is a Betsy Johnson and I got this one from a thrift store for $2.50. It was usually $5, but they were having a 50% off sale, so I got it for $2.50. So this is a Betsy Johnson, and this is the one that I cross my body with, and it's so perfect, and I have two pockets in the front, and then the back just has the Betsy Johnson, and then the pools also have the Betsy Johnson, and then it's just a comfortable little tiny purse where I can fit anything I want. So let me show you in there. Well, I think it's too dark, but it's a hot pink fabric. I think I hear a fly around here. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I think there's a fly in here. Okay, um, so yeah. And yeah, in here I have my credit cards. I carry my phone. It's just perfect for a phone size, if you could see there. So that's what I have in here. And then I have my, oh, I love how this smells. I carry this because the, I love this sugar-free extra watermelon uh, gum. But I also carry it in my purse because it makes, when I open my purse, it just smells so good in there. So yeah, this is the little extra one that I carry. And another thing that I carry with me at all times is a safety pin. You never know when you're gonna need it, trust me. I've been through some issues where I needed a safety pin and this has saved me. So whenever I use it, I replace it and I always carry it with me. And I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I think it's gonna be a little bit long longer than the ones I usually make. And those are my purses, guys. Those are my purses for the amazing prices that I just shared with you. So if you're on a budget and you want a cute little extra purse, um, go to yard sales, go to thrift stores, go to antique shops. What else is there? eBay, I mean, you can find amazing deals. Um, hold up until you find what you want. Although, you know what, when you're buying pre-owned, it's pretty much, you have to take it when you see, when you see it, you have to seize the moment because they're not gonna last. They're not gonna last. And even if they're a little beat up, if you think you can make them better than what they are, then buy them. There's things that are beyond repair that you can't fix. But if you think you can fix a little something that you found, then uh, have fun with it, make it brand new, and enjoy using it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.